The four of us are here to prevent the apocalypse. We, and when I say we, I mean everyone in this cabin can stop it from happening, but only with your help. Ultimately, whether the world ends or not, it's completely up to you three. You are having a psychological break of some kind. Your family must choose to willingly sacrifice one of the three of you in order to prevent the apocalypse. After you make what I know is an impossible decision, you must then kill the one you choose. If you fail to choose, or if you fail to follow through with the sacrifice, the world will end. You three will live. But the rest of humanity, seven billion plus, And you will only live long enough to witness the horror of the end of everything. And you will be left to wander the devastated planet alone. Permanently and cosmically. Alone. Leonard. We haven't done anything wrong. I agree with you. You haven't. You haven't done anything wrong deserve this burden. You're just the family chosen to decide for us in this time. Look, I'm not here to hurt you. If we wanted to hurt you, we would have used duct tape instead of rope. You stop. You have to understand that we cannot and will not choose who is to be sacrificed for you. And just as importantly, we cannot act for you. And you cannot kill yourselves. We're not choosing anyone. We're not sacrificing anyone. Not now, not ever. Even if it means the death of everyone else in the world. Yes. Even if I believe the world was at stake, which I don't, that's what it means. I would watch the world die a hundred times over before having to- Christ. Waste of time. They're never gonna choose to do this. And I don't blame them. Who would ever choose? Shut to... up, Redmond. You just vomit everything you think. Oh God, we are so screwed. Okay. You need to listen to this part too. I've been shown exactly what will happen if you choose not to make a sacrifice. We've all been shown. We couldn't stop drawing the visions we saw. I actually thought something was wrong with me. But the visions were so strong, so specific, and so, so real. Sabrina, Adrian, Redmond, they had the visions too. So that led us to each other, and, and that led us here, to this exact cabin. We have no idea why we were picked. First, the cities will drown. The oceans will swell and rise up into a great fist and pound all the buildings and people into the sand and drag everything out to sea. There is something wrong with you, with all of you, if you believe this. Then a terrible plague will descend and people will writhe with fever and mucus will fill their lungs. This is psychotic. It's delusional. Did you try to get help? Let us go and we'll get you help. The skies will fall and crash to the earth like pieces of glass, and God's fingers will scorch the earth, and an everlasting darkness will descend over humanity. You need help! This is going to happen.